In this WordPress tutorial, I'm going to go over how to change the widgets on your page. So if you go to your home page, so here I have CWDHS Web, by default, WordPress pastes widgets in your side panel. So this is your header, this is where your posts are, and over here in your panels, they put widgets. And widgets are just little bits of extra stuff for your site. Uh, and by default, you can see they put in recent posts, archives, categories, and meta. And I don't even know what half of these are. So I want to change what goes here. Well, you can do that from your dashboard. If you go back to your dashboard here and scroll down to Appearance and Widgets, it's right under Themes. Click on that. You'll come to this page. And these are your available widgets. So these are little bits of code that will add extra things to your site. So if you look on your default sidebar, they put in a search, recent posts, archives, categories, meta. Maybe I don't want any of those. So what you can do is, if you hold your mouse button down, I can just drag these out of here. I don't want these here anymore. I want to put in my own widgets. So I can just drag these out. I don't even know what they are. I don't want them there. So I can scroll down here. You can put in Flickr pictures. You can put in a link to Facebook. Uh, you can put other links here. Comments, what people have said on your blog top posts, Twitter. So these are all different things you can put on your site. I, I like putting blog stats in. Not many people do, but that just tells me how many people have come to the site. Let's me know if you know people are using my site. And you can change the title here. So uh, number of human visits. Sure, number of human encounters, visits. So I can save that. Once I save it, I can click Close. And now this will appear in my widget. And you have all these different areas where you can put things. Uh, the footer obviously is at the bottom. So each theme comes with different options for widgets. So you can even throw in a calendar. Sure, let's put a calendar in there. Calendar, my calendar. And this is a calendar that shows every time you've put in a post and what day that was on. And let's put in one more. Sure, I want people to see my pictures. So Flickr, uh, and you can put in your Flickr URL there. Okay, but actually I'll take that out. So anyways, that's widgets. If I go back to my site now, this is what it used to look like. If I hit refresh on my browser, now I have number of human encounters, zero visits. Uh oh, no one's come to the site. And on my calendar, I've made one post on Monday the 14th. Okay, So again, fairly easy to change widgets, and it allows you to add some more interactivity to your site and personalize it.